So the first thing, guys, if we want to solve, we want to, we can't isolate a cosine, right? There's multiple of them. And we can't combine them together, right? Because one's squared and one's not. So I'm going to think of this as like a quadratic. I'm going to get them to the same side and look into factoring them, right? Because if this was like 3x squared plus x equals 2, you got to get them to the same side equal to 0, right? Because you can't combine them. Yes? So I can also think of this as 3x squared plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. I actually, let's do a little sidebar because I don't want you to get confused. So let's do this as 3x squared plus x minus 2. So how would I factor that? Well, I know one term has to be 3x. This has to be x. To get negative 2, uh, let's see, positive 1, negative 2? Yes, factored. So we basically factored form is 3 cosine of x minus 2 times um, cosine of x plus 1 equals 0. Now that I've factored a trigonometric equation, I can apply the zero product property. Cosine of x equals 2 thirds, and cosine of x equals negative 1. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. So, so there's nothing wrong with this being a solution. We don't know what the solution is on the unit circle, though, right? Right, but that is between zero and one, so it doesn't like it does work for a cosine function, um, and then cosine of x equals negative one, and we're trying to find. Oh wait, hold on, it has to be between zero and two pi. Okay, so um, here, here, what we can do, we can look at the graphical approach. Well, actually, let's look at let's look at the graphical as well as the unit circle approach to answer this question. Okay, between 0 and 2 pi, when is cosine equal to negative 1 on the unit circle? When is the x coordinate equal to negative 1? Pi. So when x is equal to pi, that is a cosine that's equal to negative 1. Did you guys agree? Yeah. That's it. Because our constraint, I'm sorry, I forgot to write this, constraint is between 0 and 2 pi. But there's only, so right now we have one answer. One answer that works. Right? So then we got this one, Ugh, 2 thirds. We, we don't know 2 thirds. That's, we're not familiar with 2 thirds. We're familiar with 1 half and square root of 3 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2. But we're not familiar with 2 thirds. But we know 2 thirds is like 0.66, right? It's less than 1. So let's look at the cosine graph. I guess we should look at it in this way, put it over here. So here is 2 pi. Here is 1, right? And if you guys remember, if I unraveled this, like that's what it looked like from there. But it only goes as high as 1 and negative 1. So 0.66, or 2 thirds, is like right here. Right? So how many times does the cosine graph cross 2 thirds within a period? Twice. Right? So even though we don't, even though without a calculator, now could you type in the calculator to figure out the answer? Sure, you could. Right? But we don't even have to waste our time doing that because we can see that it crosses there twice, right? And if you were to, if you, well, yeah. So therefore, the, so therefore there's two and three. So the answer is going to be three solutions, which is answer D. Because here's the thing. 